So what we'll do is we'll take our choice of ink and we'll throw our cup on a digital scale. And what we're going to do is, in this case, we're not going to use any hardener. We're just going to use the ink and the thinner. So we'll use our visco spatula and we'll take our ink and we'll throw this on the digital scale and we'll measure out 20 grams or thereabouts. Since we're not using hardener, it's not really crucial to use the digital scale so much. It's when you use the digital scale and you need to add hardener, it has to be, it has to be mixed to certain, uh, to certain ratios. In this case, on this ink, uh, on this ink uh, which is our PLT12, we use a hardener that's PLH and that's a 10 to 1 ratio. So if we were going to use a hardener, we would do 20 grams of ink and we would do 1 gram of hardener, 2 grams of hardener. So in this case, what we'll do is um, we'll take our thinner, we'll squirt that into our cup, and we'll mix this up so that the thinner and the ink is fully incorporated. And what we're looking for is a particular viscosity. Usually we do everything, the standard in-house measurement for us is about a seven, se seven second viscosity. And the way we measure that is with our visco spatula. There's a hole, a series of a slot and a series of holes on our spatula. And what we can basically do is once we've mixed our ink, we'll cover the hole up. And once that hole pops, we can count seconds for when it gets to the top of the hole down to the bottom of the spatula. And if we count a seven second, then we know we're in the general ballpark. So in this case, that might be a little fast, but for this purposes, it's just fine. So then we'll take our cup and we'll pour our ink mix into the cup. Wipe off any excess on the ring. It's always a good rule of thumb also to check your ring with the edge of your fingernail to make sure that there are no chips because what a chip will do is leave a line on your print as the, as the cup moves across your cliche. So this one's in good shape. So what we'll do is take our, our cliche, we'll put it on our support, and we'll take our screws. And in this case, this support comes off and on uh, from the machine itself. So we'll put our screws in place so that it secures our cliche onto the assembly. And then we will pop our cup on, being careful that it does not exceed the edge on any of those three sides. And then we can transport this to the machine.